get the new series in Shonen Jump, The Hunter's Guild Red Hood, created by Yuki Kawaguchi who was an assistant for My Hero, which is very apparent from the character facial features, mainly the eyes and the mouth, and I would say even their jawline. But other than that, not much else feels like My Hero, such as the clothes or the world itself, which is good because the last thing that we want is a comparison or, you know, comments of high expectations. We follow Vilo or Vlau or Vilu, I don't know, I think I failed French. We follow Vilu who wants to become strong enough to defeat the werewolves that are going around eating people in his village. Based in a fantasy world straight out of a Brothers Grimm book, the characters have only been using guns and axes as weapons to protect themselves. Then again, this gun has a snout, it can sniff out werewolves, so maybe they'll implement some more magical items or possibly spells or something. We also see a different take on what werewolves generally look like. They're able to speak, they look way less like canines. They also show a higher level of intelligence, making them somewhat competent antagonists, except for this one. We just finished up in the latest chapter with the current bad guys, so I'm looking forward to this one as I'm a big fan of fictional media that takes influence through fairy tales. So it's not that fairy tale. Though not particularly new, we also received chapter three of Shui Ishida's new manga, Chojin X, which shows some similarities to his previous work, mainly the transformation the main character undergoes. Narratively, it's pretty vague, which is great because it builds intrigue. But what I really like about the series is its humor. The dialogue can be totally random at times. And I won't spoil anything, but in chapter two, there's a chase scene between this shady looking dude and this young girl, which looks super intense. Then suddenly there's a scooter, which they call the roller boy, yay yay. The bad guy then calls out the girl for not knowing how to properly use it, all whilst keeping a serious face. Then suddenly she's being chased by guys on bikes wearing sheet masks. It's all over the place and I love every second of it. I haven't read Tokyo Ghoulry, so I don't know how much Ishida's art has improved but it's so much clearer here compared to Tokyo Ghoul. The issues people had not being able to see what's happening during fight scenes is completely gone, and you can make out every small little detail. The tone is very dark, and everyone's wearing masks again. Clearly, Ishida has a thing for masks. I started Candy Flurry and Blue Box back in April when they started. I'm still reading Blue Box, but I decided to drop Candy Flurry around chapter four or five. I wasn't a big fan of the art, and the chapters never really picked up from each other. For example, at the end of chapter one, Tsugumi and Misaki looked like they were about to have a fight, and at the beginning of chapter two, the fight had already concluded, which I'm a little bit bummed about because it would have been nice to see the fight sequence. And then it happens again at the end of chapter two, when Tsugumi is running away from the agents, and then at the beginning of chapter three, she's sitting in her class as if she had already run away from the agents. So I feel like the story was just jumping all over the place and it couldn't really grab my attention. Blue Box is still good, maybe because it's a romance and I don't read a lot of romance that I'm actually quite interested in this one. It's pretty fresh and new for me. And I think I'll continue. With so many big series concluding last year, Shonen Jump is still looking for new talent. Recently, ITLC, Ball Parade and Hard Boiled Cop have all been cancelled. I think Hard Boiled Pop Cop was the only one that had gone on for nearly a year. I think it had like nearly 50 chapters. And looking at the rankings, it looks like Candy Flurry is not going to be too far behind. I read somewhere that Jujutsu Kaisen is going to be finishing in the next two to three years, so it will be interesting to see where Jump will be in the next year, considering how many subpar series there are at the moment. I saw over on base Twitter that the first volume of Marshall is out. I'll be picking that one up pretty soon. Um, it looks really interesting. Um, I haven't been able to read it on the Shining Jump app, but yeah, it looks pretty good. Let me know what you've been reading recently, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.